Hey, what's up? It's Trigi. Welcome to part three of the Robotic Hand Project. In part one, we created a hand that we can articulate by pulling strings coming out from the wrist. I made a number of improvements to that design, so this is version two of the hand. The hand movements look good, but can the hand actually grab anything? This is going to depend on how much force pulls on the strings, so I've set up a rig where we can hang different amounts of weight onto the strings. I'll start by hanging 800 grams, which is approximately 8 newtons of force spread across all the fingers. This is enough to hold items in place, but not as strong as we want, as the grip strength is pretty weak. I'll hang my drill onto the rig for a total of 2 kilograms of mass, approximately 20 newtons spread across all the fingers. This is much better, the grip holds the screwdriver firmly, and I cannot easily remove the screwdriver from its grip. Now I have two linear actuators that each pull with 30 newtons of force for a total of 60 newtons. Compare that to our 20 newtons from the last experiment. I'm hoping this will be more than enough force for a functional grip. Let's quickly run through the electronics. Remember that we want this hand to be controlled with muscle signals like we saw in part 2 of this project. The muscle sensor here sends signals to the microprocessor, which is programmed to send a signal to the motor controller when the sensor is activated. If I manually trigger the muscle sensor, we see the linear actuator moves. We'll start with one actuator for all the fingers and place the electronics into the housing. The motor controller doesn't fit into the housing, but the top of the chip doesn't actually do anything, so I'll saw that off for a bit more space. I've isolated the microprocessor with some wood, and I'll place that wherever it fits. Let me clarify, this is not how the electronics will look for a final build. In fact, I've already designed and ordered a custom circuit board with all the appropriate dimensions. What you see here is a prototype. Any engineering project will consist of several prototypes to test out particular aspects of design before committing to a final build. Luckily for us, it looks like this prototype is successful. The hand grasps when the muscle sensor is triggered, or when I press this button, which is helpful for testing. I experimented with giving the hand a rubber glove to provide more friction to the grip. It's really effective actually, the major drawback is aesthetic since it's just my dish glove and it gives off Dexter's mom vibes. I may try different colors later and see if the result is any more acceptable. Now that the system is working with one actuator, let's double the power. I am unable to wrestle this remote control from the hand's grasp, and can easily hold up my power drill which weighs over a kilo. The hand is able to easily reproduce daily tasks. Here we see the hand supporting an object for the other hand to manipulate, and carrying mid-sized objects of various weight and shape. Let's leave it there for today. Next time, we'll begin turning this prototype into an actual prosthetic device. If you want to keep up with the project, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.